Hello everybody. Today I'll be bringing you a SFM tutorial on how to begin with Source Filmmaker. Um, I'm gonna begin with green. When you start Source Filmmaker, it won't really look like this in the background here. I'll show you how it will look. Um, you wanna name your project? So I'm gonna name this Basic Tutorial. You can choose frame rate if you're doing a video. But I'm just gonna leave it at 24 since so I'm just gonna do a poster. You can also put where where you want it to like be put, but I'm just gonna leave it here. You can also open recent sessions, but since this is your first, there won't be any. Press create. When you enter Source Filmmaker, yes, it will probably look something. Oh wait. Okay, now it will look something like. Uh, let me see here. Look over here. Not layouts, we're going to default layout. Okay, so it will look like this. Um, you can change stuff here by just pressing and dragging. I like to put this over here. Uh, console can be over there. I'm going to move the timeline so that is here. This is practically how I have it. And then I'm going to add the secondary viewport and put it here. Okay, there we go. First of all, we want to load a map. You see that it says uh, no map loaded. You want to right click or press Control L and it will bring up this tab you want to find a map you want to work on so i'm just going to do a simple tfx2 one so i can check if i want it to be tfx2 so i check tf2 for tf um let's do upward open Okay, now we are in it, and we will probably be no camera. Um, should look like this. You just press with M1, and then you can just drag around to watch. You press W, A, S, D to move around. And so now we want to find a spot. Press Shift to uh, go s like faster. They want to find a place to build something on, so we're gonna build something, um, or used to make a poster around, maybe here. You can zoom with your scroll button. So right now I'm zooming out and I'm zooming in. So this looks good. Now we want to create a model. So you want to go to the animation set editor. You can press the plus, and new model will right click here any model then it will say select mdl file so you'll see that it will pop up a lot a lot of stuff here but if you want to do scout for example i'm going to do with an H -E -H -H -W -M scout and scout open up now you see you like if you press them you don't see anything that's why we, we want to change to this ham on the time we want to change this and now we see all these bones in here and if you press control you can see that you it they turn like blue and if you press one of these it will turn that way now you can switch between in here how you want to edit these like this or like this but first of all we want to make him stand on the ground on this we're just gonna press the scouts we're actually gonna zoom out a bit 
because this is the Wacom camera and not the camera one, which we have a preview of here. Now, we can fly around since this is a 3D world. We see that the scout is in the air, we want it to stand somewhere here. here. So we press the scout, now we hold down shift, and you see that it's already clipping against the ground where my mouse is pointing. So I'm just gonna point it up here. Um, no, let's change the camera position. This looks kinda good. Now, we wanna post the scout, or maybe just give him a simple normal post that he has in game. So, to do that, we wanna go into the animation set editor, right click the scout, and import a sequence. Here, we wanna press this, and there you can find different sequences. Right here, I want to find idle. This is the one he has in, uh, like, where you, um, how he stands in the meet the poster. Then just press open. That looks pretty good, but we notice that he does not have a scattergun. Now there are two ways to get the scattergun for the scout. The, way, the first way is to right click on the model and add press add team for this item. We want to write scatter. Gun, and we'll find it right here press open and it will automatically lock to the scout so as we see this li little lock here it's locked it so if I move the hand the weapon will, will move with it and that's perfect press control Zeta to undo now we want to do something else maybe we want him to look at the camera so press the scout and you see eyes up down and eyes right left so right left it's where the eyes look and up down is where he's like up down perfectly now we maybe want to add some um, uh, like if he's mad or something so since this is an hwn model there is a there's ways there's already a thing for it so that you can do it by his like no no i'm sorry there are presets for this. We go to emotion. And here we want to have the scout selected. And let's make him happy big. Now this might look very weird. So I'm not gonna go with happy big. I'm gonna go with. Uh, hmm. Let's do with. Mm, mad. And then maybe we want to open up his view a bit, so we press the scout, press the plus, and we want to enter face, we just press the face, so now we have just the face selected. So now here we see everything that has changed from the presets, we want to find you so that we can make him, um, so that he can open up his mouth, so let's find you. You have your age, which changes it in that direction. We have your D, which is our and in. And we have your V, which is down and up. So I'm just gonna put something like this. And that looks pretty pretty good. Uh, maybe we wanna add some cosmetics. You do the same thing as before. You right click the scout and press add here to item. You want to find the, uh, uh, maybe a jacket. So let's search for the flap jack. And automatically adds in it and locks it to the scout. Now maybe we want to add a hat. Let's add a hat. But you know, I'm going to show you the second way of importing that model. Press new model. In here, since we want it to be a scout model, we want to write item and then a slash but no, 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 so actually press alt and to the like um, question mark plus slash button to the right of the zero button, which makes this thing. And then we write, oh wait, it's for series items and slash scout. Now we can just go down and see if we find anything that we like. That look, this one looks pretty good. 
Please press enter and it automatically adds them. But as you might have noticed, it's not locked to the scalp. Let, where is it? It actually spawns right in front of the camera. You see, these things is what the camera sees. So, you can put it on the scout, but like with this, you notice that it's not actually on the scout. There are easy ways to do this. So, you press the scout and drag it down onto the, to the um, cap, and it automatically locks it. Press procedural, and press that one, and zero. Now, wait, what? His, his cap is still here. Well, that's because that's the setting. So you need to right click the scout, and you might not find um, what is it called now? Um, well, it, it's it's supposed to be a thing here, but it's not here right now. So we're just gonna open it up, go to unknown. Let's make this a bit bigger. Uh, we find hat. Headphones and microphone. We want to remove all of those at the same time. So we, we hold down control and press the other ones too. Now we drag this out, drag it as far as you can, and there you go. You have it on the scout. Now you might want to add some lights, which is something you want to do. Let's add the light. Now you see that this is very this is a very strong light. Maybe you want it to be like here. You press the you press the light. Find the intensity. Drag down the intensity to change how strong the light will be. Now, let's say that this is this is done. Then we want to right click, press render settings, and remove motion blur. Since it's the post, you can actually add it to 1024 override. But if you're doing a video, I would recommend doing 32. Uh, over that will take you a very very long time let's add that in okay something uh, you might not know is that source filmmaker is trying to like understand how the shadows should look like and where they're supposed to be like this light here is somewhere around here and lights up on the scout up here you see that there's a shadow of the scout here but it's not really looking good on the scout and such stuff like that. So we wanna right click in here, press create animation sets for existing elements. Camera one, okay. Press the camera. Now these are things that I usually do. You know, I want to drag the SSO bias to around the O, the SS to use OSS, and the radius to about the beginning of the R. Now you don't really see the difference, you just wanna, if you press this, it will be a bit of a pre-render, and this looks a lot better. Now this, li this light is very strong still, so I'm gonna actually move the light a bit. Like this, that looks pretty good. Um, we can actually put the tone scale down, so of the actual map, tone map scale. Oh, you, you select the camera and drag down the tone map scale. So that's pretty easily done. You, you notice that on the actual normal light, you won't see the difference, but he do, but in here you do, since this camera is what we edited. Now, if you maybe want to change the color of the light, you can just be here and scroll it down. There's a lot of setting here, you can play around with it. Now, we want to add or drag down the blue and some green to add a bit of a uh, orange effect so this looks pretty good um, it feels good these are good render, send render settings now we want to go ahead and export this we will go to file export poster save now these are very important settings I like to do a TGA file um, because they are uncompressed and creates really good quality um, so that's what I'm gonna do so let's go ahead and but you can render a PNG if you want to but you don't need to watch the rest of this tutorial if you're pleased with a PNG file because TJ you will have to do some other stuff to it uh, to create really good resolution 
you wanna put this to what is it? Uh, let me see. Because I wanna put this to a 4K resolution. Uh, resolution. Because I don't really remember the pixel. So on the Wikipedia here, you can find it. And it's let's see here. Uh, 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 uh. Here, twenty one sixty p. Now this is what you want to put on the right side, here. Let's open this up. It automatically changed what is supposed to be here. When I had this on TJ, you can do this for PNG too, but I'm gonna do it TJ. Now you're gonna put where you wanna put the output of the actual file. So let's put it in here. Let's write tutorial and save it. Now we wanna press export poster. Now this will take a bit of time, but when it's done, it will look amazing. Um, so yeah, let's wait for that. Okay, when we're done in Source Film again, we wanna just uh, open up Adobe Media Encoder and open up the actual file that we got. So let's go ahead and find that. We have that somewhere in this folder. I should be. Uh, I still have posters and tutorial. Now this will add it in. We want to change this stuff because we don't want it to be an H.264. We want it to be a. Let's see here. Do we have PNG somewhere here? There we have PNG. And we want to switch this because we want it to be 4K. So 2160. And that doesn't matter. And boop, boop. Now this is in Swedish, but it's it, it's the same buttons to switch anyway. So, and we want to see where we put it. And sure, that looks good. And okay. Now that's everything you need to do. Um, I sincerely hope that this tutorial helped you in any way. Um, this tutorial was brought to you by Reaper. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.